Hello, it's Mr. Omar again and this is part 3 which is creating objects and giving them events. And you can probably think of events as actions but they are called events. So, I right click on objects and I'm going to create an object. Now, this object doesn't look like anything yet so I'll click on where it says no sprite and I'm going to make it the player sprite. Now, I now have an object and I'm actually going to call that player underscore object just so that we're nice and consistent and I could click OK and save that and that would be fine. In fact that's what I'm doing. However, that object won't do anything. It has no events. So I open it up again and I'm going to add an event. So I'm going to say that when I hit the left key on the keyboard, so there's my event, when this happens the action is over here. So there's a whole lot of actions I can choose here but I'm going to start with something nice and simple which is to move in a direction. So it applies to itself, not to other things. You can make it apply to other things, but for now let's just apply it to itself. It's going to move left and it's going to move at a speed of 10. Uh, and because if I don't give it a speed, it won't move at all. Okay, so now when you hit the left arrow, it will move, start moving left. Let's add another one, just so that it's a little bit more sophisticated. So keyboard right move, same deal, to itself, move right, give it a speed of 10 and OK. So now there are two events added to this um, object. And the last event I'm going to add is that when any key is released, any key at all, it will stop. So any key, I grab the motion and I hit the one in the middle for stop and I hit OK. It doesn't need to speed because it's just stopping. So there we go. All of that is true, I click OK. So now I've got that object. Now I'm going to go down to my room. So when I open my room, which here it is, I can click on the Objects tab up the top here, and it says in the middle here, Object to Add with a left mouse, and it says Undefined. So I click on that, Player Object. Now if I had a bunch of objects, I could choose between them, but for now I've only got that one. So I click on the screen, and there is my Player Object and I suspect, no, I can make it bigger. There you go, I've made it a bit bigger and that's fine because it will need to be. Okay, so I click on the tick, so I've put an object into my room and now we can actually look at our very basic playable game. Go up to the green arrow and press run the game and we're waiting for the game to compile which is what we're seeing there. Splash screen of course and there is my little fella moving left and right. Now you'll notice that he's in fact quite hard to see. And this is what you should do when you're making a game, is when you notice problems, go and fix them. So, I want to change the background of my room. In fact, I want a new background. So, background one, load background. I'm going to give him a nice paddock to wander around. There we go, he'll do, and OK. So background 1 now equals something different. Let's run the game again and it should run with that background. So again it's compiling the code, splash screen again and there it is. Now unfortunately I've got him walking against the sky rather than against the sheep so he's still a bit hard to see but that's your basic version of how to do a game. You've created the sprite, you've created the room including a background and then you've got the object and you've given it some events to react.